You taking the Batmobile in? Because I might fly. You flying? I'm flying. Nerds! <laughs> oh, nice costumes, losers. <laughs> <laughs> nice wig, Hamlet. Don't talk to me about hair, Superman. You look like you got a fucking pube on your head. <laughs> Batman, <laughs> you look like a retarded magpie, okay? Oh! <laughs> At least all of us have movies. What do you got? Yeah. Nothing, man. You got no movies. I'd rather have, have no movies than two shit ones. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? You know what? We don't have time. We don't have time for this. All right? We got a Comic Con to go to. Let's go. Uh, Iron Man. What? Forgetting something? Are they are passes. That's sort of they are. Give them back. Or what? You're making me angry. You're not gonna like me when I'm angry. What are you gonna do about it? Hook slap. You hit like a girl. <laughs> Hello kitties, this is your friendly neighborhood watchman again, bringing you another video, this one on Henry Cavill, who was fired as Superman by the wonderful folks over at Warner Brothers, DCEU division. The byline is from Aaron Tuller with the caption, Henry Cavill fired as Superman by new DC bosses, which obviously we already know, but it is a short article and I had not come across it into today. So I'd like to briefly jump into this one. There he is, the Man of Steel no longer, back in 2016. In the latest shakeup for Warner Brothers, Henry Cavill will not reprise his role as Superman after all. Yeah, after they told him in October that he would. The 39-year-old actor penned a letter to fans and posted it to Instagram on Wednesday night. And here it is. If anyone hadn't read it yet and would like to they can of course pause this video and have at it i have just had a meeting with james gunn and peter safran and it's sad news everyone i will after all not be returning as superman he began after being told by the studio to announce my return back in october prior to their hire this news isn't the easiest but that's life cavill added the changing of the guard is something that happens. I respect that. James and Peter have a universe to build. I wish them and all involved with the new universe the best of luck and the happiest of fortunes. That's because you're a classy guy, Cavill. Cavill made his debut as Superman in 2013 in Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. He reprised the role in 2016's Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, and 2017's Justice League. Gunn echoed Cavill's announcement in a series of Wednesday tweets that also revealed he and Safran are writing a new film about Superman. Peter and I have a DC slate ready to go, which we couldn't be more over the moon about. We'll be able to share some exciting information about our first projects at the beginning of the new year, he said. Oh, I wait with bated breath, says I. Really? Oh, is that what you want? Among those on the slate is Superman. In the initial stages, our story will be focusing on an earlier part of Superman's life. So the character will not be played by Henry Cavill. But we just had a great meeting with Henry. Who has apparently been using the same wireless router for the past two months. Yeah, I'm sure from Henry's perspective, it was a great meeting also. It may not have been as much of a great meeting as you'd like to think. And we're big fans. <laughs> And we're big fans. And we talked about a number of exciting possibilities to work together in a future, Gunn promised. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe Henry could come back as the Riddler, right? Yeah, that's not a demotion. 
Gunn and Safran were announced as co-chairmen and CEOs for the film, TV, and animation division of DC Studios, a newly formed Warner Brothers sector that replaced DC Films in October. They each have extensive experience with the superhero engineer, having brought some of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and DC Universe's most popular characters to life in hit films and series, such as Marvel's blockbuster Guardians of the Galaxy, DC's highest grossing movie Aquaman, as well as Azam, The Suicide Squad, and HBO Max's live action series Peacemaker. Just a few weeks ago, Dwayne Johnson admitted that he fought for years with studio executives to bring Cavill back as Superman, but for now he's hanging up his cape. Well, if this is true, one of the few times in recent memory that I can agree with anything Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock, has done. So with that, not only the end of this video, but the end of the Zack Snyderverse. Only one Justice League film was made compared to the Avengers in the MCU that brought all their superheroes together. The DC Universe just wasn't as successful with their team film. I like superheroes in general. I grew up as a kid collecting and reading comic books. All I care about is good films. I don't care if they're from Warner Brothers, whether they were DC or Marvel. Just give us good films, which is hard to do now with Walt Disney currently being what they are. But most of us are hopeful that common sense and sanity will win out in the end. And this woke nonsense will become a thing of the past. A regretful past, nevertheless. So folks, with that being said, we have come to the end of another video. And if you agree, wish to share your thoughts, the DCEU, Zack Snyder, MCU, or just the superhero film genre in general, just comment down below. And if you like the video, please support this fledgling channel and give that like button for Superman Punch and subscribe if you haven't already by hitting that notification bell so you'll be warned whenever I mm, drop another video. And as always, stay safe and I bid you peace.